All right, let's continue on here. Let's just keep rolling along. After I got freaking suspended, this is directly after my, that last video. I just really want to test this computer out. Ugh. Hmm. I should have changed the quality too. God dang it, I forgot to do that. Dang it. Freaking sucks though that the computer takes up the memory. I hate that. Cause if I want to get some games or something for this PC, I'm gonna need the memory. Unless I want to buy bigger hard drives or mobile hard drives. We make it cool to be sucked. And we see the Hawks ready to get to work. Change my dude's dance too. Journey as they play an interconference matchup in this road game. Bringing you some fun. All right, let's do this. The NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with Mark Pillow and Steve Kerr. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. All right, let's go. Here's Farmar. Good on the shot. Excellent communication on the inbound play there, guys. He got in a good position. Come on. Let's keep going. Come on. Let's get back on that court. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Where, where's Atlanta? I guess Atlanta is not western. I didn't see him. Maybe I missed him. Season, as we all know. And of course, the Lakers, right now, quite a ways down below. You know, right now for the Lakers, they've been as flat as they can be this season. It might be time, not just for some lineup changes, but a major overhaul. Yeah, you might be right, Clark, because you can see that there's no spark to this club. Nothing seems to be clicking. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some big changes. The Hawks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Scott. The average year at the line for them uh, so far this year, shooting about 75%. Yes. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. You know, despite a bit of an apathetic fan base, the Hawks always seem to be pretty good at home. Won 25 of 41 last year and had a 44-38 overall record. Nobody really seems to talk about it, Clark, but the Hawks have been absolutely dynamite here at home over the last half decade. Steve? Ah, uh, everyone nails them freaking threes. That's why they call it the highlight factory, Kevin. I mean, this place can get rocking, and you think about some of the talent they've had here the last few years with Josh Smith, who's now in Detroit, but Al Horford, Jeff. Get off me, dude. Freaking grabbing me and crap. Pass to money, six to shoot, doubled by Farmo. Here's Schroeder, a baseline J. And yeah, there we go. For two. And it was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. There's 138 left here in the opening quarter. Goes up from the top of the key. No good with the tip. All right. The Atlanta Hawks come into this one following a loss to New York. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the rope. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get out of there. It was a miss because they had no energy. Jamari Carroll's checked in for Atlanta. Passes it to Williams. Blake kicks to Saka. Lakers passing it around. Back to Kobe. Scott pulls it in. You see the defense get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. To the paint. Whoa! Money passes to Schroeder. Here's Jenkins. Off ah! Can get it. You know, nine times out of ten, he's gonna knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Here's Blake, rejected by Jenkins. Go Schroeder. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Here's money. And he yes. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Lakers leading by five. 
Now Farmer, averaging eight points a game. Outside, Kobe. No, Kobe. The dish to Sacre. Ah! Oh. No. To go. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. All right. Lakers ahead, up by five. Half time, I'm going to do my thing. Tune in this Wednesday night, December 18th. DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings take on Al. All right. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about it. They have the lead right now, but there's still plenty of time for us to do some damage. Cut that lead down to five. All right. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against Charlotte. It was an emphatic All right. Them, especially considering that it was on the road. No question. Matig, let do this. Steve, I love the way they attacked at every opportunity. They never were on their heels, and eventually that allowed them to pull away. Yes. So for the Lakers right now, Nash and Meeks together in the back. Sean Williams is out there with Xavier Henry, and it's Sakri in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And now Williams inside. Ah. Picking up the assists. Nash has got his seventh assist in the game. I'm going to drop a little knowledge on you here, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the 180 club, but it's players who've had a season shooting 50% from the field, 40% from the What the? 90% from the line. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Nash had done it four times, and I think last season should qualify as his fifth. He's at 44% from three, 92% from the line, and 49.7% ah, from the field. I round those there we numbers go. up, so that's a 50-40-90 season in my book. T dishes to Corver. Whoa, I, what the? God dang it. Angeles leading by nine. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, gentlemen, the Lakers barely squeezed into the playoffs last season. Despite that, they had the largest luxury tax bill in the league, almost $30 million, more than double the next highest team in the Miami Heat. So maybe one wow. for them with Dwight Howard deciding to move to Houston, the team won't have to shoulder the even more punitive taxes that began this season. Kevin? Good point, Doris. Thanks. And Clark, going back to the 180 club, you talked about Nash ah. that four or five times, depending. Can't get a rebound this game. Got one. In that. I mean, it's only happened 12 times in NBA history. Larry Bird was the only player to do it more than once before Nash did. So, but yeah, you're talking about one of the great shooters ever in, in Steve Nash. Williams kicks to Meeks. Back to Williams. Elbow shot. That's good. Wow. Williams has got a second. Friggin' focus. nail everything. The Hawks trail by 13. T kicks to Cunningham. 127 left in the first half. It Give me that. Again, missing. Dang it. LA has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Knocked loose. Yes. By Brand. T kicks to Corbin. Here's money covered by Sacre. Here's money. And he drops There we go. The glass. Money's got his second bucket of the game to go. They're going to take tough outside shots. And they're better off just firing from the three point line. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, if you're going to be back there near the three point line, you might as well take the three. Just step back and um, knock it down. Uh, out to Nash. Can't get that. Here's Meeks. Meeks gets the screen from Zuck. There's the three. Meeks there we go. Atlanta's gone one of four from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here is Cunningham. Right now averaging five points a game. T kicks to Cunningham. And that 
I, did I push both of those guys over? Lips. Like, get the f out of my way, son. Now here's Nick. Stay on the court. 13 points in the win against the Bobcats in Charlotte. Ah! Gets the bucket. Williams has got six here in this quarter. Nice, accurate pass right into the middle. Here's Teague. Ah, oh, that was horrible. And so we wrap up the first half. Lakers lead by 10. 2K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. All right. Let's see how much my CPU's at. It says 66%, but I'm not sure. If they, it goes back to 18%, so I'm a little kind of wondering. The Lakers have been tearing it up. A team definitely yeah. in the mix for the playoffs. And as a matter of fact, if they win this one, they'll move into the eighth spot. Offensively, they've been in a zone. Okay. A lot of great team play, providing looks from all over the floor. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Atlanta and a shot here from Atlantic Station extending over the high rise. All right. Oh. Town. What is that pretty? And what a game for William. 13 points and the three pointers have been dropping for him. He's got three of them. Well, as long as he's continuing to make them, I, I think they should make him more of a, a focal point of this offense. Ah. Teague and Lou Williams, the backcourt. Horford is out there with money, and it's Millsap in at the three spot. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Come on. And here is Horford. He dishes it to Millsap. Williams kicks to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Millsap. Johnson with the block. Good. Nice shot. Los Angeles leading by 10. Go, 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 go. Lakers still pursuing another title, but uh, it would be a real shock if that were to come this year. A lot of age. And ah, ha, ha, ha. They lose Dwight Howard. Uh, this is a club that just doesn't have enough athleticism and speed to contend for a title. Outside Millsap. Kicks to Williams. Fires from 14. Ah! Oh, I got it. No? Go well, back to the Lakers. Clark, you think they're too old? Is this a team that needs to rebuild? I'm not yet, Kevin. The saying is young doesn't win in the NBA. I think for them, health and chemistry are the most important factors. Also, I think this is a franchise that has shown it can make a home run deal like acquiring Paul Gasol in 2007. Got two titles out of that move. I think they'll look to add some youth through their bench and Structure the personnel a bit and they'll yes. another run perhaps. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. Boom. It's been tremendous offensively. The Hawks have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. There was no question what he was most concerned with their lack of interior defense so far. Protect the rim. That's the priority. Quote unquote. Ah, well, yes. But jumping. Let's go. And maybe those uh, yes. Thank you, Doris. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Well, Millsap, a uh, great signing. Boom. For the Hawks. Two year deal, 19 million. Uh, you like the skill level, a guy who battles inside. And even when he's at a size disadvantage, he still seems to, to really prosper. Jordan Farmer, he's checked in for Steve Nash. Farmer passes to Young. There's the feed to Gasol. Ugh. Oh, he missed. Yes. It's the Hawks taking it the other way. And you look at the development for Paul Millsap. He's steadily improved as a passer, as a shooter at the line. His overall game is upward. He's even starting to shoot more threes these days. Right. Kevin, yeah, he's, he's undersized, but... Boy, yeah. His finish. That's what I like best about him is just his constant energy. Well, we got to get one more. Ah! Miss. Dang it. Gets the assist. That's 10 points. Ah. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. 
T dishes to Williams. Left side Williams. Outside T back to Millsap. A shot. A rebound by. Yeah, why not freaking go that? Spot on him. Rebound of the game with that last one. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. And Young, here we go. Uh oh. Farmar gets to Gasol. <laughs> and now it's a 10 point Laker lead. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Williams passes to Money. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets to yeah. Somehow I made that. One player who doesn't need a lot of space to get to the ah. Really crafty the way he can blast. Dang, we need some way to stop him. He's really strong. And when you watch him, Steve, you can see how quickly he looks to take his shot when he's on the receiving end of a pass and how successful he is when he does take the shot. This guy is a catch, fire, and hit guy. Here's Horford. And he was fouled on the way. Wow. Two free throws now for him. Now an appropriate time as we get a chance to look at the all-time list for assist average. Some Hall of Fame point guards for sure. Magic and stop. Come on now, Horford. Make these. There we go. You know, it surprises me how few players have averaged near double-digit assists. It's just not something you take for granted. Nice. So Horford gets two. The Hawks last season weren't really a bad offensive team, but they did have one of the more memorable offensive nights, and not for anything positive. In a January game against a tough Bulls team, the Hawks only scored 58 points over the course of the entire game. Oh, wow. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They have really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. Here's Jenkins. Gets the three point of the there we go. That's what we needed. We need another three. First points of the game in the deep ball. As you said, the Hawks had one of the worst offensive nights, Clark, in the NBA. But overall, we're a solid offensive team right around the middle of the league. Steve just goes to show what can happen when a team goes cold. Yeah, when you don't have that one guy who you can always lean on to score, there are going to be some nights where everything. Wow, Kobe, how dare you? Against Chicago, it was kind of bizarre, but hey, over the course of 82 games, it's going to happen. To the left wing. And there's the pass to Money. Fires from 14. There we go. Perfect shot. Okay, that's more like it. A nice job here in the second. I mean, their field goal percentage is way up compared to what they did in the first half. Where they shot a very low percentage. It actually was just above 30%. And it's Gasol penetrating. No! No! Goaltending, no! <laughs> he didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Eldon Brands checked in for Atlanta. Cunningham comes in for Damari Carroll. 158 left in the third. Schroeder kicks to Cunningham. The three ah. the Lakers leading by nine. Jeez, I'm having such a tough time rebounding against these guys. And he's able to get it back. A good look from Bryant. 18 feet away Kobe! Really? Bryant's got six. Boy, they look helpless defensively. Schroeder kicks to Cunningham. Pass to Money. From the left block. Ah. It's off the glass, but it's no good. Los Angeles has gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. Dishes it to Gasol. Keeman sets a screen for Gasol. Here's Farmer. No! And a miss there on the triple. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. Schroeder kicks to Brand. 55 seconds left in the third. Here is Cunningham. A three ball rejected by Farmer. Oh. And oh, here we go. Farmer's got it. The fast break chance. Fades and shoots. The offensive rebound. Heyman. And the bucket. Count. No! On his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. Scotty's checked in for Atlanta. Williams comes in for Jerry Cunningham. And Jody Meeks gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. On defense, the Lakers. Passes it to Money. Here's Schroeder, guarded by Blake. Just five to shoot. It's Williams with the drive. Blake with ah. the Heads up interior defense there. He was ready for that entry pass. Nash with the bucket. Well, they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. Here's Williams. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he knocks down the first one. We gotta get on fire or something. Lewis Williams. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. And this is just not a night. Deficit will make it. This Friday. In a moment now to check out our state pharmacist to the game and what a pass it was by a Getting hot in here. I had to turn my AC off. It's just Makes too much noise. The Hawks trail by 15. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Inside the seven footers, Gasol and Kamen. Nick Young is out there with Nash. And it's Johnson in at the small fold. Ah! Oh, we got it. Yes. Scott's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Atlanta. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. Nash, the pass to Young. Young left side. Kamen kicks to Johnson. Shot clock at three. And stolen. Okay, good. Fast break for Hawks. Williams is running. Deflects the What the freak? Here's Money. Defending no! Ah, uh, man. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Atlanta's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Teague with the ball. Guarded now by Nash. Scott, the best of money. Man. And the Lakers will go. Ah. With it. Young dishes to Nash. Feeds to Kamen. So he gets the whistle. God dang it. Two shots coming up. Oh well, he takes his, these shots. I'm gonna look at my task messenger. Intimidating presence in the post. Good size and strength, and doesn't really get pushed around. Also, excellent timing when it comes to shot block. See, I don't know why it says that. It's at 68 pen percent when I first open this up, but then it goes back down to 18 percent. So I don't understand that. Really good offensively. You got? I, I'll ask anyone who. Uh, mark with him is defense knows about that weak side rotation like I don't know if it's 68 or 18 center that you kind of solidify your defense around well a coaching carousel for the Lakers oh, crap. last season they made it only five games before five whoa round. then they decided to go in a new direction and uh, boy they went through three different head coaches before all was said and done they never really were able uh, to gain that consistency they were looking for Millsap passes to Money. Count the bucket. Money's got a lot of... Need a bunch of those. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Lakers leading by 13. Nash outside. Johnson kicks to Young. Got a piece of it. Yes! Williams with the ball. He kicks it to T. He feeds it to Horford. Nice! Come on, we gotta keep doing this. 
going back to the Lakers struggles last Come on, Horford, you gotta make this mean. There we go. Come on, we got we gotta keep going. They thought they were, and, and a lot of people imagined they were. Well, how much time do I have? <laughs> Three or four shot clocks worth? I mean, I think there were a number of issues, as you might expect. Injuries played us. Come on, come on, come on. I think there was discord over how they should play. Really no true identity. They were a big team trying to be small. Team without Go, 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 go. Go score again. Floor, older team trying to go up tempo, coaching change. Oh, oh. Right, yes. He had a lot of moving parts, and it made it very difficult for everybody, I think, and it showed in ah. the season. It's a good assessment. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Now, that pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. Clock at four. T dishes to Millsap. Atlanta gets it. Yes. Come on, Hartford. Oh, man. It's going right for these guys. Lakers leading by 10. Johnson from outside. Ah, come on. Dang it, Cayman. The kick out to Young. Ah, uh, ha, 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 Simply having a great game from outside. Teague, the pass to Horford. Back to Teague. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Farmer's got three rebounds now in this one. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the Fed. Holy freaking crap. It's game four of four out on the road for them. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Mills up, kicks to T. Pass to Horford. Back to T. Outside Millsap. Puts up the baby hook. And there we go. As it just snugs right I don't know if we're gonna have enough time now. Positive factor for them today, although you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Young with the ball. Williams picks him up. Young against Williams. Outside Gasol. Williams against Young. And good on the ah. Book it. Young's Man. got 19 points. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Here's money. Good. They're on track here in the second half. After their less than impressive first half. And I think they came out with some tired legs to start. They've turned it around. They've oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Whoops. Active and engaged. They're looking at the computer. Scoreboard looks like it does very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, guys, Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. He was not happy with their play to this point, telling them we're getting out hustled, plain and simple. Come on, Horford. Oh, man. Screw you, Pogasa. Oh, there you. They have enough to get it done. Yeah, that's smart basketball. You foul and you send a very poor free throw shooter to the line. Yeah, Great. That's just smart. I mean, especially the way he's been throwing it down. Make him earn it at the strike. That's good from Horford. Well, you knew with no Joe Johnson in Atlanta anymore, there'd be extra shots to go around. Al Horford got a few of them, and with Johnson's departure, it's one of the reasons he had more field goal attempts than in any season of his career. Uh, two minutes. Steve, you talked about Horford scoring last We're season. really going to have to do something. Clark over 17 points a game. I really liked his efficiency, Kevin. Remained efficient even as he added to his point totals. He continues to be a very underrated jump. Uh, come on. Yes. Stuff him. Yes. Go, 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 go. That mid-range stroke of his is something that is as good as anybody ah. for his size. Shoot it. Inside the line. Yes. The jump shot ball. They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Come on, Gives themselves a little break, too. Catch their breath. You're yep. right. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Go, 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 go. 
Budenholzer had to say to his team. He told his guys not to use so much of the shot clock, saying early offense is going to be the key for them from this point forward. He also told them to get tough. He said, let's make this one a very physical... Yes. Likely the final major changes... Come on, come on. ...as they try to make a late comeback here in the fourth. Seven back to you. Great. Thanks for the report, boys. Team on the double team. The open shot... By come on, miss! Ugh. Open jump shot, and the Lakers lead by 11. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, for two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Outside Williams. Money passes to Williams. Yes. Come on. Lakers leading by eight. We gotta stop him. Come on. They double him with Horford. Give me that ball. Ah, go, 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 go. Yes. That's exactly what you want coming off a steal. Get into transition and find an easy basket. Yes, sir. The ideal fast break opportunity there. Come on, steal that ball. Come on, we gotta stop him. Seconds left in the fourth. And Young kicks to Cayman. Ah! I like the way they got the ball inside. Come on, we need a three. Come on, hurry up. It's going outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Yes! Paul Gasol's trying to take over this game. Do not let him make his next shot. And Steve, they need it now more than ever. This is a critical juncture in this game. Come on, we need this. Fourth quarter. Here's Farmar. The dish to Gasol. No! I messed up. Dang it. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Come on, make it! Uh. And out of bounds is the Lakers gain possession. Big group substitution. Oh, there I go. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And this oh, that one sucked. Such a lopsided well, pal, congratulations Shut on up. the win. Shut up. Ah. Almost. Let me see what the CPU's at. 62, 18. I guess that's decent. Although I have to watch these videos over. Make sure they turn, turn out pretty good. Actually, I might be able to render stuff on this one finally. Finally. Alright, guys. This was my computer test, sort of. And then I might try some editing soon. I don't know if I want to do any editing before my trip this Sunday. But, yeah. On this Sunday, I'll be heading down to the Chingatigue for uh, my marine biology major. To the field station down there for marine biology major my well my class so be down there for three weeks i'll be back for a little bit and then i'll be heading to florida in july so pretty good pretty good stuff and um let me think oh yeah about mlb 14 the show and ufc hopefully when i get back from a trip after three weeks i'll be able to get mlb 14 and be able to get ufc as well should have a good time with that stuff too. But for this week, I'll probably just continue on with my Madden and NBA and stuff like that. Alright guys, see you guys later.